Welcome to another episode of Improvised Incoherence, the show where we will find out if I can talk. This episode, I'm going to take you on a mini tour of my parents' house. So here is my room. Ignore the giant pile of crap, even though that is half my room at the moment. Got a closet. It's pretty nice. My parents' other house I had to share half the closet with my mom's dancing clothes. It is nice to have something for only my stuff, because I have a lot of it. This is also the first time that I've been able to display my video games. All of my CGI movies that I have, at least physical copies of. The anime section, paranormal conspiracy movies, and random stuff. And PlayStation 2 and Xbox era games. Here we have the office and library, government conspiracy slash classic fiction shelf. Yes, the two go hand in hand. This is my section. Young adult fantasy and science fiction, mostly. Gotta put the weird experimental writing right next to Twilight. Then a pile of anime insiders. And also a couple copies of a friend of mine's manuscript. I'm missing my copy of Harry Potter and the Cursed Child at the moment, but when I get that back, that'll go here too. Right next to Twilight. It'll be great. Here's what our three-car garage looks like. While we're still sorting through stuff. Believe it or not, it is emptier than it was when we first moved in. Here's one of our cats. They don't have names. We just yell at them until they respond. Isn't that right, Boo-Boo? Momo Mink. And here is our other cat. She's completely blind. And she lived her entire life in my parents' other house. Both of our cats are 16. They're sisters, but she adapted here pretty well. She doesn't know the whole house, but she has a couple rooms that she likes to go between. And this is where my parents keep their pet frog. He's got his own chair and his own dresser that he lives in, and he has a run of the place. Our pets are spoiled here. Here is the backyard. Ending on an ATV in a tarp. Very beautiful. And this is the front yard. It goes all the way down to those line of trees. Here's the giant apple tree on our property. There's a stream running underneath it, so it's pretty happy. And this is the little pond at the bottom of our property. We get ducks and birds and porcupines and moose and ground squirrels and mosquitoes. Quail. So that was a little mini tour of some of the highlights of my parents' house. Obviously there's a lot more house than I showed you, but you know who needs more than pets and a place to sleep and a pond. So let me know if you have anything you want me to talk about next, and I'll talk about it next time. Bye.